now these are some positive idioms okay for good times and bad times this is ups and downs so when you want to show ups and down uh, good and bad of something you can use ups and downs so presently i am going through ups and downs or i have my ups and downs but i am doing a lot better now with my medical condition next one is ray of sunshine so ray of sun sunshine is someone or something that brings hope into the lives of others especially during times of difficulty so how to use it as aimed the sorrow her uh, her son has been a real ray of sunshine or it is easy to add joy to happy person's life but not everyone is a ray of sunshine when one is in need okay then beyond a shadow of doubt beyond shadow of doubt the government has clarified beyond a shadow of doubt that people who have been evading taxes so far will be caught very soon okay like beyond a, a shadow of doubt is it is certain like it you cannot doubt it or my mother was convinced beyond a sh beyond a shadow of doubt that he was the best match for me as usual mothers are always right next one is give the benefit of the doubt so that this means this is literally meaning give uh, benefit of doubt or let them prove that they are innocent okay so let's give her the benefit of doubt and assume that she is right or let's her give the benefit of the doubt and assume that she is right or like by by allowing her to go free the judge gave the accused the benefit of doubt up to the mark up to the mark is basically uh, it's good enough or it was as expected so your exam result this term were not up to the mark so it was not up to the mark what was expected from you or you can say the play was not up to the mark or the delivery work was not up to the mark or was up to the mark okay you can say use it as negative as well as positive by using not up to and up to then a penny saved is a penny earned also a penny saved is this is a regular one that we use so it is basi basically be cautious with the money and have it saving so whenever you see uh, spending some more you can say a penny saved or for giving an example like at least 25% of our monthly income should be put aside as a saving because a penny uh, sorry a penny saved is a penny earned he tried he tries to do all the work himself and always says that a penny saved is a penny penny earned cutting edge cutting edge is to be almost among the latest and the best right so this is technological world and whenever there is new updates to it we can we can use this term the company has introduced cutting edge technology which will handle all the client issues or you can say cutting edge technology that is re required to break this market or it is cutting edge technology using artists they are making the 3d prints the cream creme de la creme to be exclusive okay so this is basically it's a french term and comment me the correct pronunciation of it i don't know and i have never used this idiom so uh, pardon for that so i'm i'm also learning with you guys here and i am no expert with all these idioms that i'm talking about so let's move on uh, the next one is count on so count on is basically able to uh, depend on some somebody or something right so count on is it's it doesn't matter what happens you will always be able to count on me or you can say whether they win or lose you can always count on our cricket team then there is laughter is the best medicine everyone knows laughter is the best medicine uh, literal idiom and after spending time with friends martha felt her depression lifting and released that and realized that the laughter is indeed the best medicine here a piece of cake piece of cake is a task which is easy you can say piece of cake like don't worry about this job interview it, it will be a piece of cake for you when you have required skills for it or you can say uh, the test would be difficult but it was a piece of cake cake i will pass with no problems at all right then a friend in need is a friend indeed 
a person who is helping the time is requirement for a true friend and everyone knows about it so i i, I can't give any idioms for example or you can say like he stayed with me throughout the time i was in hospital a friend in need is a friend indeed okay negative idioms negative idioms are for describing a bad situation and a chain is only as strong as its weak link that means uh, the chain like uh, with with the example of chain you can say there is a weak link in it is no matter how strong it is it will it will gonna fail right so example like no matter how confident the dance group is in carrying out the human pyramid formation the team is only as strong as its weakest link is an example for it actually so uh, well uh, it is basically a vulnerable vulnerable spot or a weakness a small fault in a person or a system that can result in failure so it can be like though we had a good person his short temper was a, his arch heel then chink in armor it is a suspectable or vulnerable area in the armor so armor in past there was armor used in battle so that's how the term is says so she is a brilliant social worker but her lack of political awareness may, may be, can be a chink in her armor the last row last row is basically to be the last one in the sequence of an unpleasant string a string a string of events right so the last straw in their relationship was when he physically abused her she walked out after that so this is last hanging thread right zero tolerance zero tolerance is to like it to have prescribed and strict punishment for incorrect behaviors zero tolerance is there is a zero tolerance toward any gender bias in this company or you can say zero tolerance to the policy toward people for dishonest being dishonest at their work then show true colors is uh, betray uh, like it is a rival oneself as one is really okay so show two true colors is basically show how one is and it is like with you can use it in an example like it's only in time of crisis that your friends will really show their true colors smell something fishy so sem uh, it is basically to have suspicion on something that is wrong i smell something fishy about the deal that we have been gone through or my mother could uh, always smell that there was something fishy when either of us would be up to mischief rat race classic one then like to be following a routine every day exhaustive as a uh, repetitive work that is called a rat race and how to use it as the man has been in the rat race all, all his life no wonder he is enjoyed his retirement life or i am not going to enter this rat race i may be as well do something else okay cup of tea is when you say what you like like to do something or you don't want to do something so you can also use it in the negative way not my cup of tea this is mostly used so like the classic example is i enjoy uh, museums it is my cup of tea or hiking is not my cup of tea but my uh, wife enjoys it so all all those kinds of thing this is negative one so as we talked about not one cup of one cup of tea you can just use it in a negative way all bark and no bite is used when it, there are empty threats and you are like you are not engaging in the fight and just uh, abusive right or just talks so i heard he has threatened to you with their consequences if you do not stop that construction don't worry he is all bark and no bite okay wash dirty linen in public to discuss one's private life in public basically like to talk about something or doing a gossip basically is washing dirty linen in public so she decided not to take the family dispute to court as she feared it would only lead to the lot of washing of dirty linen in public down the drain to waste something this is used when when you are wasting something so say fixing that old car is just money down the drain and usually it comes with reference of money itself all my efforts are like uh, you can say all my efforts seem to be going down the drain no one seems to care i don't want this video to happen so that, that's the reason when i'm learning i'm making videos with you guys so you can 
be part of this journey and sorry for the mistakes that i've been making so whatever trainings i have taken i am posting it i am learning from it this is a small step toward what i want to achieve right so pardon me now next are quantity idioms quantity idioms are basically big and small uh, kind of uh, quantity for something so the tip of the iceberg is uh, it denotes there is a huge effort but we just know the small part of it right how to use it uh, in the sentences the manager employee problems in this company are just tip of iceberg so what does with this sentence we mean is uh, the manager employee problem is just one part of it and there are a lot of other problems then there is c change c change is to have a big change in perspective uh, like c is vast right so there are like vast changes so there was a c change in his personality after he married his wife you can say next one is conclusion conclusion idioms conclusion idioms are conclusion for uh, say say with an example end of the day end of the day is to take look at all the possibilities and then to make a final decision uh, end of the day at the end of the day i decided that law school would be best path for me or you can say at the end of the day i am the one who have to live in this house that i will buy and then there is in a nutshell is in conclusion in in summary of everything that you have talked about so in a nutshell in a nutshell the new mayor was saying that uh, fight against crime will be taken much more seriously in a nutshell everyone wants to be happy uh, like all those examples are there the bottom line bottom line is a final analysis the most impact uh, impactful uh, fact or situation what the, uh, does that mean is uh, to conclude it with uh, highlighting it so when you want to highlight something the bottom line is that recycling isn't profitable so if you are talking about uh, recycling and you want to show the profit and loss this is the bottom line is recycling isn't profitable or say bottle uh, so, so bottom line is that great majority of our kids are physically unfit or we had some success this year but the bottom line is that business is still losing money okay so yeah thank you thank you everyone for being part of this video it is uh, a long cut this time and i hope you uh, have gained something about out of it thank you